All right, how's it going, citizens of YouTube? Today, we're finally talking about Bug Snacks. Uh, as you probably know, this came out, I think, either on the same day as the PS5 or, like, pretty soon thereafter. Um, at that time, I wasn't recording a whole ton of stuff. I was doing, like, I think Mario 64 and, like, Cyberpunk. I just couldn't really, like, fit this into the schedule, but now I have a little more free time. And I have kind of an excuse to go back to it because it was just put on like new platforms and there's like an expansion that just came out. A free expansion that uh, I'm sure I'll play once I get, you know, the main campaign finished up. Or maybe it's just like integrated, I don't know. But uh, I've tried to avoid, um, I tried to avoid as much info as I could on this game because like the first couple of trailers implied that there was a sort of like horror mystery element to the game even though the game kind of presents itself as being very kid friendly and like silly and colorful and all that stuff um but some stuff in those trailers was like yeah there's something dark and screwed up going on here and i really hope that's the case so i i just haven't outside those two trailers i haven't looked at very much at all on this game i see a couple like twitter pics here and there but nothing really major i have not spoiled the game for myself much at all and that makes me excited so top in do a new game and start talking about bug snacks I am once again pretty congested like it's like the moment I start thinking oh my god Oh no. Well, I guess we're stranded on this island, I suppose? Uh-oh. Yeah, that bodes really well. It's like, I swear, the, the minute I start thinking about recording a game, my nose is like, okay, time to get all clogged, time to get congested. It's, it's terrible. Like, I'm fine at work, I'm fine at home, it's just as soon as I start recording or talking for like a semi-long period of time, my sinus is like, okay, I'm gonna wreck your day, like right here, right now. Holy crap, what is happening? Alright. Oh, there's no way this won't collapse, right? Ah. Alright, hold on, you grab that rope for dear life. Yep, that's what I thought. So I think we're playing as, like, the explorer who goes missing. Because I remember in the trailers, that's what, like, kicked the plot off. Or so it's implied. Oh my... What the heck was that? If this is the only horror element of the game, I'm going to be really disappointed. But I don't, I don't think it is. That made me laugh out loud when I saw it in the trailers. The freaking pizza pterodactyl. Or at least I think pterodactyls are the, are the flying ones, right? Are we rolling? <clears throat> Greetings! I am Lizbet Megafist, intrepid explorer, seeker of the unknown, hunter of undiscovered creatures. And she's a real charmer. <laughs> Eggerbill? Oh. What? The people deserve to know. You're the only one who gets to know. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm Lisbeth, and I have made an incredible discovery here on Snaktooth Island. But this is more than a mere expedition. My followers and I have started building a new community here. Construction of our settlement is well underway. And what draws us so far away from civilization? What discovery? could tempt us to start a new life in the untamed wild? Bug snacks! They're the most delicious thing in the world! You haven't lived until you've tried one! <laughs> it's true! Half bug, half snack! There's nothing quite like them! There's one now! I got it! I got it! Ooh. Good effort, Silbo! 
Oh yeah, the best effort. I'm sure you're wondering why I've sent you this still. I've read your words. It's because I'm dead and I need help. The secret of Soylent Grump. Stellar pieces of journalism. Like me, you have a passion for discovering unknown truths. And also like me, do you truly recognize your talent? You are just the Grumpus I need to share my story with the world. I've sent you a map to our settlement. Come to Snack Tooth Island. Together. You and I will share the incredible tale of Bucksnet. Alright. I like how in this world, like, we are creatures from Monsters, Inc. And the bug snacks are the things that we find so fascinating. Wow. That's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused me? I had to recall half a million papers and give a public apology. All because your Grumpfoot turned out to be a lost football mascot. We've been over this. It doesn't matter how eye-catching your articles are if I'm stuck cleaning up your sloppy work. You're already out of second chances. And now you're gonna follow Elizabeth to some Grumpforsaken island? Elizabeth Megafig is either a con artist or a lunatic. Remember that whole mess with Grumplantis? This bug snacks thing is just her latest delusion. Um. Huh. Well, I'm leaving. Nice to chat. Nice to chat with you. Why don't you believe in bug snacks, Miss Clumby Clumbernut? Because I've got a working brain. Oh, you saw one in the video, right? I think it was fake news. She got a little famous after stumbling across some forgotten civilization in Grumpsylvania. She's been coasting off that success ever since. Do your research. Ships go missing around there all the time. The place is like me before I get my coffee. Deadly. I like to think you're always deadly. Anyway, good chat. I'll see you later. I'm going to the island. Bye. This is absurd. Only a desperate loser would follow Lisbert. Whoa, no need to get personal. Well, it is a tantalizing story, if true. We'll just have to hear it from Lisbert herself. Say you get an interview with her and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff or something. <laughs> oh my word. Alright, well, I like how she got all mad at me and then she's like, Alright, you know what? I guess I will give you the money for an expedition anyway. Oh, you okay, Mr. Mayor? Lisbeth? Is that you? Oh, thank Grump you're alive. Too bad I'm dying, though. Yeah, that's just too bad. I was looking for you, but uh, I got hungry and I kept catching bug snacks. It's... Could you imagine in real life, like, if you had to hunt for your food, like, every... I mean, I think, I'm sure some people live like that, but, like, I assume the average person watching this video doesn't have to hunt for every single piece of food that they eat. Like, every bit of food is not sentient, you know? Philbo Baggins, obviously. That's, that's a weird question, Lisbert. Wait, you're not Lisbert. Oh, Grump, it doesn't matter who you are. Please get me something to eat. That <laughs> may as well. Hooray! Ow. Um, I think there's a bug snack right over there. Should we get a good look at it? I know which one it is for me. <laughs> Yeah, that strawberry beat me up. Go get him. Alright, R3, the snackoscope. Okay. A very simple snack. Watch its walking pattern. They're a little shy, but that's okay. They just need more space.
Straw bee 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 bee. I like how it has the same like walking pattern on the ground as like Horizon. <laughs> For those who don't know. All right, how do I catch it though? Oh, oh, good. That that one's pretty easy to catch. Well, uh, you aren't me anyway. <laughs> Boogie, do me a favor. And take my snack trap. Tracks come out of this bush. Put the snack trap down there, and then we'll hide. Wait, you say put it in the bush? Uh, let's hide behind this rock. Okay. Nice. I'll pick it up before it escapes. Oh, it's not a timer, okay. Uh, give me that. Everybody gets one, oh yeah. Let's put that away. I'm still amazed this game is in first person, like... The first trailer didn't specify if it was like, first person or third person, but it just... It looked like a third person game, you know? Wow, you got it! Okay, now, toss it into my mouth hole. Nah. D did you have to say it like that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh yes. I'm saved. Oh, this? Pretty neat, huh? It's a side effect of eating bug snacks. Anywho, I'm still recovering. I could use maybe three more bug snacks? I'm sure that scope of yours will come in handy. Skin and plan, I always say. <laughs> This game has elements of body horror. It's great. All right, hold L1 and point the. Oh, there's another strawberry. Um, actually, I should probably like what scan it first, right? Okay. Let's put that away. So I got I gotta remember all these like key binds. No, no, no. Keep going about your your day. Gotcha! Thought you'd run for that bush? I don't think so, I got ya. Alright, Mr. Mayor. How about two strawberry arms for ya? Oh, um, yum, yum, yum. oh leg. Alright, that's fine. So, I assume the hunger they... Uh, sorry, congestion. Hold on. Oh, God. Tissues! Uh, okay, I'm gonna assume like the hungrier these guys get like all their Food limbs start to go back to normal like this like if, if this guy is starving to death Then you know it'll look more like this and less like that That's what I assume is happening Get me three more of those bug snacks, please Well, I just got you one of those three right so I should be at like two left All right. Well, I feel good news. I feel a little less congested now. <laughs> a little bit. I also like how there's, you know, uh, it's alluding to an ancient civilization that like maybe worshipped bug snacks. Oh, is that a flying pineapple? What is that? What are what are you guys? Let me bring out the Pokédex. Green L olive? It's it's a flying olive, I I think. Latches onto snacks and traps with its upsettingly long tongue. What is this game? Besides amazing, but like, my word. You know, I can't believe I remember this, but like, I swear in the trailer I saw somebody throw a net like up into the air. And it actually, like, caught a flying one. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet, and I don't want to, like... Well, I could just walk... Hi, Strawby. Ah! I wonder if I just, like, run into it. 
Yeah, let's see. If I, like, run into it... Gotcha! No. Ah. Here, let me try to, like, aim the crosshair at it. Come here, you little turd. Ah, dang it. Ah, whatever. Not worth my time. I don't know why I'm pressing R3 to crouch, because... But I... I think that's how it works in Ghost of Tsushima, which I play too much of. But, uh, let's go with the... this. Can I, like, throw this? Or... Here, let's let's test if I can throw this. Frag out! No, I cannot throw it. <laughs> what? Hey! Let that go! That's mine, you little bastard! Let it go! Retrieve? Okay. What? I could set it to self-destruct. Okay. I mean, it looks like I have unlimited supply. I don't see, like, a number counter anywhere, so that's good. Stupid flying olive. Come here. Oh, I wonder if there's fall damage. I probably should have thought of that. Alright, I think I saw, like, a snake or something over here. Let's see if I can catch that snake. Yeah, what are you? Oh, it's a carrot, of course. Burrows into the soil when scared. Alright. Just gonna pop that down. Hide behind here. Air quotations, hide. That's not the right button. Okay, so the strawberries escape in like 13 seconds, but these guys escape in like 10. That's kind of neat. All right, now you're gonna have like a carrot for a leg. <laughs> you are it's like a peg a leg. It's like a pirate. Oh, sorry, I was too busy dying to introduce myself. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I'm the, uh, mayor around here. Um, sorry if this is a stupid question, but, uh, what are you doing out here? Um, let's see. Well, I guess this is the truth. I understand. We're all on our last chances around here, buddy. I know who you what does are. that mean? You're the journalist. I knew it was stupid to ask. Nesbert said you'd be coming. Hmm, you're a bit late, though. Uh, still, it's my job to show you the way to town. Follow me. <laughs> He's like, sigh. Sorry to be an inconvenience, I guess. Dude, I wonder if, like, the running animations are different depending on, like, what kind of uh, legs he has. Like strawberries Buddy, or carrots or whatever. I have to tell you something. I'm supposed to take you home, but Lisbon might not be there. I don't know where Lisbon is. I was out here looking for her, but who knows? Maybe she will be there when we get back. I'm sure she wouldn't want to miss her interview with you. You ready to go, buddy? All right, through here. Yeah. Garden Grove. Oh, look at this place. <laughs> what are these dead bug snacks? Hey, Wimbus. How's the farm? <laughs> You're still alive? Thought you'd have starved to death by now. Nope. <laughs> I found a journalist. They're also pretty good at hunting bug snacks. I was gonna bring them back to Snacksburg. That's nice. Don't you wanna come with? No. Well, well, why not? I got my paws full with my ketchup crop. Without Lisbeth around to catch bug snacks, I gotta keep us all fed. 
Uh, we can't just eat ketchup. Well, it's better than nothing. You want us to die out here? No, no, but, uh, but this garden is just so far away from everybody. Maybe you could start another one in town? Call this one quits? I don't quit. Now kindly leave and take a ketchup for the road. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Darn bunger! Get out of here! Ooh. Uh, stranger, I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. There's a pen set up nearby. Take my sauce slinger, gather up some ketchup, and use it to lead the bunger over yonder. 